Welcome to Let's Create Music.com on YouTube, the creative music channel. Today, I want to show you a couple of things that you will be learning in Let's Create Music.com. We're going to be sampling Easy Like Sunday Morning by the Commodores. And I'm going to show you some sampling tips that I use when I'm using Bias Peak Pro. Let's begin. When dealing with samples, the very first thing that you're going to pretty much do when you decide to sample is listen. Um, listen is a big part of sampling uh, and is a big part of creating music. So I have my uh, my track here of Easy Like Sunday Morning. <laughs> So I kind of already done pretty much the hard work, which is listening to this entire track. So I'm going to show you a couple of things that you can do if you want to pull samples outside of this track. The first example I want to give you in using Bias Peak Pro 5.2 is creating loop points. If you have a sample that you want to use um, and you want to get out a loop outside of it, Bias, Bias Peak Pro will allow you to do that. And show you how to do that as well. So I'm going to take this loop at the beginning of the of the track. So I want to loop from here to here. I right click, and then I go to loop this section. This bring up loop points, allows you to move them to create a smooth loop that you're trying to create or export out of the sample or out of the song. When you've got your loop set up, Next, it's time to create a region. So you right click, go up a little bit more so you can see what I'm doing, and then you go to New Region. If you would like to name your region, you're able to do so. But right now, I'm just going to keep it named as Region 1 and press OK. Now, there's a region that I've just created. So I'm able to export this sample and use it as a loop. Let's move on. Now I want to go over one hits with you. One hits are considered when you press the key one time, a sound plays. It usually comes with stabs, uh, kick drums, snare drums. Those are considered one hits. But you also can have one hits dealing with samples. So we've got our loop. Next, we're going to move to our one hits. So with listening to the song, Now, I want to get two regions here as one hits. Girl, I'm leaving you tomorrow. So what I do is left click and highlight that section. Now, if you want to create something like this, you highlight it, right click, and go to New Region. Now I have a Region 2. Now, even inside of my region, I'm able to move, extend my region, or shorten my region however I want to. So if you don't get your sample or your one hit perfect, you're able to move your region till you get it the way you would like it. Now I'm going to get this stab here, or I'm going to make it a stab. Once again, right click, 
new region. Now, I'm gonna show you next on how to export this information to use with other programs. Now I'm gonna show you about exporting regions using Biospeak Pro. Now, with Biospeak Pro, you're able to export just the regions that you have selected. So even if we highlight the entire track and go to export regions, we're able to export only the samples that we use. By using Command A, you highlight the entire track. Go to File and go to Export Regions. Now if you say that you want to export it to a particular um, folder or whatever have you, you're able to do so. In this section, we're going to go to Save to Disk. This will open up the format that you will like and how many bit resolution will like. I'm going to set it at 24 bit. I'm able to change it whether I want it stereo or mono. How many kilohertz I want it. Now, what we're going to do here, we're going to set a path. Now, I'm going to put it on my desktop. Create a new folder. Called Easy Samples. This creates a folder there. Now I'm able to open that folder and my path is set to that. Now if I want to name each individual region, I can do so here. Now of course we didn't change the name to region 1 or region 2 or region 3. We left it stay like it is. But if I want to add to that, I'm able to do so. So the title of the song is Easy. like Sunday morning and I put a hyphen there to basically give some room to put region 1, region 2, region 3. When you're done setting up all of your settings, go down and press begin and all your regions are located there. Now I'm going to open my folder that I saved to my desktop and here all my regions are. If I want to listen to how each sample is, And that's how you do sampling with Bias Peak Pro and how to export your information, how to set up loop points, and set up regions. Tune in to more tutorials here on Let's Create Music.com YouTube, the Creative Music Channel. Peace.